In a previous video, I showed and talked about 100.3 The Sound, one of our FM classic rock stations, being replaced when Intercom took over CBS Radio. They replaced Intercom, replaced 100.3 The Sound with a uh, FM Christian rock station. And in the previous video, some of you that saw it will remember I, I showed the ending of the station and then the beginning of the Christian rock station. Well, today I'm happy to report I was looking at the Nielsen ratings, and that Christian rock station is at the absolute bottom of the ratings. It is rated the absolute lowest uh, listenership time percentage of the population um, of all AM and FM stations combined in Los Angeles. It is the absolute worst. It is the lowest. And I stated in that previous video that, you know, that, that a Christian rock station would be as popular as, uh, you know, contracting HIV in, in the Los Angeles basin. And I think the reality of it is contracting HIV is probably more popular than that Christian radio station. So hopefully Intercom will come to its senses and realize that that's a dead weight and bring that back. Uh, maybe they'll bring 100.3 The Sound back. That would be interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm a minute and eight seconds into boasting about something that I had foreseen and covered in a previous video. This is a, uh, was a Granco FM receiver. And Chris got me this at the ham radio swap meet. So what is this? It's quite simply a, uh, I guess it'd be a five tube FM receiver. 6BA6RF amp, 12AT7, which is your oscillator mixer. It looks like 6BA6, 6BA6 for your two IFs, and then a 6AL5, which is your dual diode detector. Could probably have shown that while I was talking about it. And this is actually in the SAMs. And this brings up another interesting point for uh, radio stations in the LA market. I was chatting with Speaker Freak 95 and he was talking about uh, iHeart Radio, iHeart Media, and I was saying, well, you know, a lot of the big stations in LA were CBS. CBS kind of owned the LA market before Intercom took over. And the top rated stations, and I give the Nielsen ratings about as much credit as I do CNN, but the Nielsen ratings are um, show K Big and Coast 103.5, which are both iHeartMedia, is the top two. And nobody listens to those stations. Those are the music on hold stations. Those are the listen at work, you know, adult contemporary, uh, you know, corporate standardized programming uh, made for the masses music, whatever. So anyway, when I was looking at this thing, I was thinking, well, you know, what what would you use this thing for? And my, the thoughts that came to mind were like maybe uh, music on hold for a phone system, maybe, um, maybe like PA for a grocery store, you know, music over the 70 volt line system in a grocery store, background music for something, or I guess this having a line output, this does not have an amp, this having a line output, if you had a one of those old radios, AM All-American 5 radios with the phono input on it like the higher end ones did, you could possibly just plug this into that and then have, you know, an AM, FM, All-American 5 tube radio. Anyway, I expect this to work. That could be a gross mistake for me to assume that, but I'm just going to assume that this works. I mean, there's not much that could go wrong with it. So we'll hook it up and see how it works. Maybe we could listen to a little bit of that 100.3 
whatever it is now, and uh, that way somebody will be listening to it in the LA basin. I mean, we wouldn't want that. You know, talk about waste of electricity as if however many kilowatts that transmitter is just running along and no one listening to it. Talk about just dumping energy into outer space with no return. Yeah, Intercom, get it together, man. Bring back uh, a decent sounding classic rock station. P people sitting in their cubicles that are completely, completely out of touch with the reality of it, which is when you're stuck in traffic on a freeway in LA and that's where the majority of our radio market is you don't want to listen to Christian rock you're either gonna to listen to KNX or you're gonna to listen to your jams whether that be country or hip-hop or R&B you're not or, or uh, classic 80s stuff you're not gonna to listen to Christian rock at least not in the Los Angeles area all right here we go I got a uh, Rolls reference amplifier here plugged into the speaker. So let's just see what happens. Oh. Is that a bad filter? What is that? Is that some kind of ground loop? Boy, that's a hell of a lot of hum. Well, it's working, but we got a lot of hum here, like a ground loop almost. Okay, I just didn't. I just didn't have the um, RCA connector plugged in all the way. It wasn't the shield wasn't connecting. Hmm. Fortunately, Del Zaco never makes you choose between authentic flavors and fast service. For a limited time, Tender Breeze pork carnitas are best. You also get dealt mashed potatoes and gravy, a biscuit, a cookie, and a drink with this here deal. I can't keep dealing this deal forever, though, so you have to go to KFC soon to get the two-piece all-white meat $5 fill-up. Because it's only a 2475 Here it is, 100.3, K-Love, actually K-Fail, absolute lowest rated station in Los Angeles. Hiring's better when you've got your short list. Save time on hiring when you post something for us. But you know all the facts. Fame, January 27th. Tickets are on sale now. I better start looking for presents on home trees. And now, your top five reasons. So this right here is like probably 104.3 K-Big. And this is one of the top rated number one or number two stations. And this is the kind of station that this thing would be on in the back room of some convenience store, grocery store, you know, uh, or music on hold or whatever, wherever you'd play this type of music. More music, more variety. 104.3. 104.3.
in any other way that you could get in. 818-985. Anti-slavery. But then Cash makes this point. Andrew Limbong guides us through one of America's most enduring anthems. I should go easy on Johnny Cash for flubbing the history of the battle hymn of the Republic. We, uh, I had it wrong too. This is quite interesting too. I, uh, I recognized Chuck by his voice when I asked him about a Willie Nelson poster in a bookstore. Uh, Just one listen. Here's Loud Luxury with Body on 97.1 Amp Radio. Yeah, of course it sounds great because it's connected to a, you know, a pretty wide band with direct coupled solid state amp. So it you know it's gonna sound really really good really good highs and bass because usually in most tube stuff it seems like the the audio quality is lost in the somewhere between the output of the detector and the speaker you know crappy transformers or uh, some type of weird correcting capacitor that kills the high end or whatever but yeah, it sounds really good. I, I can't see having a use for this, really. I mean, it's cool, it's cute, but I don't do anything. At, I don't own a convenience store, do anything music on hold or anything like that. Hey, Intercom, I'm listening to your failed experiment. Why don't you bring back our classic rock station that focused on sound quality rather than being the loudest, most compressed, bass-heavy thing on the dial. And this is K-Earth 101, which is right above the failed K-Love. And this is, you know, 80s, 70s and 80s and early 90s stuff. And this is Intercom 2, and it's one of the, one of the highest rated. I guess maybe Intercom doesn't want too many stations that are top ranking close to each other on the dial or something. A quick visual on what I was talking about. Here's K Big and Coast, which are your basically fill music, your over the 70 volt line in the grocery store. And those are both those are both iHeart and then K Earth, which is the one I was talking about, and KTWV, which is the wave, those are intercom. And then KISS FM, everybody knows what KISS FM is. That's just crappy pop. And um they rate K and X down here. K and X is, uh, yeah, it depends on the demographic you're interviewing. 
KNX is huge, man. It, anyone stuck in traffic has KNX on. So I don't know. Or, you know, your typical news hounds that want the news on the way home from work. They have KNX on. Anyway, we go all the way to the bottom here. All the way to the bottom. Here in the middle is KSUR, which is the oldies, oldies station. Uh, all the way to the bottom. Look at this. All the way to the bottom. Here's your K-Love. Right? Your Christian. That's it. it. They say Educational Media Foundation. I thought that Intercom owned this. So, I don't know. But anyway, um... Yeah, look at how far down, you know, K-Rock is way down now. Anyway, uh, pretty interesting. You know, and I don't, some of these stations might repeat in here. I'm not quite sure what that's about. See, because K-Rock's up here, K-Rock's up here too. And it's Intercom. So really, Intercom and iHeartMedia own everything. Everything in the LA Basin is probably nationwide is Intercom or iHeartMedia. That's just that's just it. There's two media two media outlets. So basically Let me do something real quick. So KKLQ, which is the 100.3, uh, which was the sound, only appears on here one time, and that's at the absolute bottom. So, way to go, Educational Media Foundation. I could swear that was Intercom. Maybe they sold it off. Maybe they had to sell it off because of some type of monopoly thing, but... KJLH, taxi license? I wonder what that's about. Anyway, anyway, yeah, you know, the media consolidation, pretty much three or four companies, three or four companies and three or four social media sites on the internet control the minds of America now. I mean, forget outside interference you want to talk about a monopoly on our minds and on our inform on the information we see how much more blatant could it be than write that you know iheart intercom um facebook google and youtube own the majority of people's minds in this country i mean there it is just just forget it. Just sign out. It's, it's over. They got you right where they want you.